Get ready to be captivated as we embark on an enthralling expedition into the life and legacy of one of the United States' most audacious and iconic presidents. A force of nature, a whirlwind of energy and passion, who redefined the very essence of leadership, the one and only Theodore Roosevelt. Let's begin with Theodore's early days. Born into a prominent family on October 27, 1858 in New York City, young Teddy exhibited a zest for life that would define his extraordinary journey. His insatiable curiosity and thirst for adventure were evident even in his childhood. From his early expeditions exploring the forests of his family estate to his fascination with the natural world, Roosevelt's love for adventure knew no bounds. This passion for exploration carried over into his military career, where he displayed courage and resilience in the face of adversity. As Roosevelt grew older, he channeled his energy into academic pursuits and physical fitness. He also became an avid reader and developed a passion for natural history. His adventurous spirit led him to explore the uncharted territories of the American West, where he embarked on hunting expeditions and documented his experiences. In 1898, Theodore Roosevelt's life embarked on a momentous detour that would forever alter the course of his destiny. With an insatiable thirst for adventure, Roosevelt fearlessly volunteered to lead the first United States Volunteer Cavalry, known as the Rough Riders, during the Spanish-American War. In the midst of the chaos and uncertainty of the battle, Roosevelt's exceptional leadership skills shone like a beacon of hope. It was on the blood-soaked battlegrounds that Roosevelt's unwavering courage and unyielding determination etched an indelible mark upon the annals of military heroism. But it was the fateful day when the Rough Riders, under Roosevelt's command, unleashed their audacious charge up the hallowed slopes of San Juan Hill in Cuba that destiny struck. Roosevelt's unwavering resolve and battlefield heroics became the stuff of legend, thrusting him into the national spotlight with an intensity and fervor that few could have foreseen. The nation, captivated by his gallantry and tenacity, celebrated him as a true war hero, a symbol of bravery in the face of adversity. It was this monumental chapter in Roosevelt's life where his courage met its greatest test and emerged victorious, and that set the stage for his future endeavors. The experience, the camaraderie, and the realization of the importance of military preparedness would go on to shape the trajectory of his presidency. From the tumultuous battlegrounds of the Spanish-American War to the corridors of power in the White House, Roosevelt carried with him the lessons learned and the unyielding spirit that had propelled him to victory. His legacy as a war hero would forever intertwine with his role as a statesman, leaving an indelible imprint on the tapestry of American history. The military tales of Theodore Roosevelt, where tenacity meets audacity. From his rough riders charging up San Juan Hill in the midst of the Spanish-American War, to his daring expeditions through the jungles of Central America, Roosevelt's adventures were the stuff of legends. His boldness resonated with his unwavering belief in the power of decisive action. Teddy Roosevelt possessed an innate ability to seize the moment and certainly had a knack for it. On a more grounded level, Teddy's political career was still as vibrant as his personality. It is after his military service that Roosevelt embarked on his successful career in politics. He served as the governor of New York and later as the vice president under William McKinley. However, fate intervened when McKinley was assassinated in 1901, capturing Roosevelt into the presidency. From his days as a New York assemblyman to his time as governor of New York, he had a knack for stirring controversy. Known for his progressive ideals, 
Roosevelt championed a series of bold and transformative reforms. He fought against corporate monopolies, pushing for trust-busting legislation and advocating for workers' rights. His belief in conservation led to the establishment of national parks and forests, securing America's national treasures for future generations. Roosevelt's square deal policy aimed to balance the interests of labor, business, and consumers. Through regulatory measures and consumer protection laws, he sought to ensure fairness and equal opportunities for all Americans. As an advocate for social justice, Roosevelt tackled issues such as child labor, workplace safety, and food safety regulations. He believed in a strong and compassionate government that would protect the rights and well-being of its citizens. However, this video would be incomplete without least a mention of his iconic Bull Moose Party. Yes, Theodore Roosevelt, the man who wasn't content with just one political party, he decided to create this party after becoming increasingly dissatisfied in the lead-up to the election of 1912. He also suffered a mid-speech assassination attempt, a dramatic moment in the life of our dear Teddy. While delivering a rousing speech during his 1912 campaign, a bullet pierced the air. He did not fall. He coughed into his hand, trying to see if any blood flew out of his mouth. Satisfied that the bullet had not pierced a lung, Teddy asked for the man to be brought to him. Teddy was, however, met with silence upon asking John Schrank, his attempted killer, what his motives were. With the bullet lodged in his chest, he carried on, delivering his speech like the true Chad that he was. Teddy Roosevelt, the visionary leader with an arsenal of policies up his sleeve, he certainly knew how to shake things up on the home front and on the international stage. From his trust-busting efforts to rein in the power of corporate giants, to his progressive reforms that aimed to level the playing field for all Americans, Roosevelt had a knack for challenging the status quo. But let's not forget his big stick diplomacy, the wielding of overwhelming American power with finesse. Speak softly and carry a big stick, he famously said. Roosevelt's foreign policies, such as the construction of the Panama Canal and his pursuit of a great white fleet, cemented America's position as a global player. He knew how to flex those diplomatic muscles. Roosevelt's diplomacy was exemplified by his role in negotiating the end of the Russo-Japanese War, for which he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. He also asserted American influence in Latin America through the Roosevelt Corollary, an extension of the Monroe Doctrine. Roosevelt's bold and assertive foreign policy earned him both praise and criticism. Some viewed him as a strong and effective leader, while others criticized interventionist approach. Ah, the fascinating realm of Theodore Roosevelt's life beyond politics where he embarked on grand adventures and found solace in the embrace of nature. Let's delve into the extraordinary tales of his post-political escapades, where the call of the wild beckoned him to immerse himself in nature's playground. Imagine Theodore Roosevelt, the intrepid explorer, venturing into the uncharted territories of the world. From hunting expeditions in the untamed wilderness to traversing unexplored landscapes, he fearlessly embraced the challenges and wonders that awaited him. Oh, the stories he could regale us with, recounting thrilling encounters with majestic bears or inspiring lions and magnificent elephants. These were not just mere adventures, they were moments of profound connection with the untamed forces of the natural world. After the whirlwind of politics, Roosevelt sought refuge in the tranquility and splendor of nature. His love for the great outdoors became an integral part of his existence, an essential source of solace and rejuvenation. He understood the therapeutic power of the wild, 
and it became his sanctuary from the demands of public life. But he didn't keep his revelation to himself. Instead, he shared his passion with the world, igniting a flame of appreciation for the natural world that still burns brightly today. Driven by his profound love for nature, Roosevelt embarked on a mission to protect and preserve the very landscapes that had captivated his heart. His visionary leadership led to the establishment of national parks, the safeguarding of precious ecosystems, and the advocacy for conservation. His actions ensured that future generations could experience the untouched beauty and wonder he cherished so deeply. Teddy's dedication to preserving America's natural heritage became a cornerstone of his legacy and an inspiration for others to follow. But his impact extended far beyond his own borders. Through his explorations and captivating writings, Roosevelt transported the public into the heart of his outdoor adventures. His vivid descriptions, imbued with a deep sense of reverence for the environment, stirred the imaginations of readers and sparked a movement. People from all walks of life were inspired to cherish and protect the wild spaces around them. Teddy Roosevelt became not just a lover of nature, but a tireless champion forever woven into the fabric of the wilderness he so passionately embraced. Whether he was riding across the sweeping plains or delving into the depths of the majestic Amazon rainforest, Roosevelt's connection with nature was unparalleled. His unwavering commitment to exploration, his boundless enthusiasm, and his steadfast dedication to preserving the environment continue to inspire nature lovers and conservationists around the globe. So, let us immerse ourselves in the awe-inspiring tales of Theodore Roosevelt's post-political adventures, where the beauty of nature beckoned him and where his spirit still roams free.